The overall goal of this procedure is to harvest and prepare chromosomes for G-banding and molecular cytogenetic tests. First, culture the cells to logarithmic phase, then harvest the chromosomes with colsimid, a hypotonic and a fixative. Drop the cell suspension into slides. Stain one slide as a monitor of the chromosomal preparation. Proceed to G-banding or molecular techniques of the remaining slides. As a final step in G-banding, analyze the chromosomes by light microscopy and karyotyping. Ultimately, the chromosomes and nuclei will be available for karyotyping or FISH. I first had the idea for publishing this method because of the high demand from other researchers requesting assistance in the detection of chromosome instability in different types of cells from various organisms and for subsequent molecular cytogenetic testing. This technique is essential in the diagnosis and ultimately prognosis of many congenital genetic disorders, including cancer, because it allows for the visualization of chromosome rearrangements which are diagnostic for these disorders. Though this method can provide insight into the chromosome rearrangements found in various types of human cells, it can also be applied to cells from other organisms such as rhesus macaques, rats, and mice. Culture 2 million adherent cells to 80% confluency and add 10 microliters of 10 micrograms per milliliter colsimide per milliliter of cells. Incubate the cells at 37 degrees Celsius in a 5% seal.